What's good everybody? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Mulu and this here is Ndoza and she's beautiful. Thank you so much, babe. Guys, first of all, thank you so much to everyone who's been watching our videos. Everyone has been supporting us, liking and sharing far and wide. We see you, we appreciate you. And uh, yeah, if you're new to our videos and to our channel, please make sure that you subscribe. So in our last video, we spoke about the 100 days of lockdown and um, that got us thinking about what we've been doing after stage three and how we've tried to keep the romance alive in terms of still being able to go outside yeah and that's the thing like level three has completely changed life as we all know like mm -hmm. this new normal you know has has affected everything and i think on the romance front we've also had to do a little bit of adjusting and for us just having moved to cape town we were so excited about like exploring new places you know finding new spots like we always do but mm -hmm. that had to almost come to a halt so now we're like, okay, we're familiar with a lot of spaces. We've gone to a couple of places that we love, that we enjoy, but now it's difficult to enjoy them and experience them the way we used to. But you know, we had to be innovative and try new ways. And one of the things that we did love doing was going to wine farms and going wine tasting. While you're there, you get to meet a lot of people, you know, tourists and meet up with friends. And yeah, it's it's been very different, especially now with level three that comes with the alcohol ban. Now going to wine farms is like a complete new experience altogether. We go there to explore like the scenic views, you know. Um, I mean, wine farms have a lot to offer, not mm. just like wine tasting. And that's what we're about now. Uh, I think what's also cool about wine farms that we've been able to go to is that they're on our awesome locations, yeah. which give, you know, the outdoors uh, a good name for itself <laughs> <laughs> and of course it lends itself to like pretty views and nice picture taking places sure. someone likes taking I, pictures <laughs> i'm gonna pretend as if I, i'm not the one who likes like, to take the I pictures <laughs> but anyway yeah so um most of the wine farms that we've been able to visit recently have awesome restaurants yeah. as well and because of lockdown and because of uh, the restrictions right now uh they're not really crowded uh but it's, it's still a bit if if yeah, he, we're still a bit true. um are cautious about which places we go to and whether we we'll want to sit at the places and, yeah. and dine there so related to uh dining what we've uh, decided to start doing is ordering in which is something that is also from uh the pregnancy days <laughs> <laughs> you see i feel like my pregnancy just low-key prepared me yeah for it, lockdown. It, it really prepared like, our entire relationship for, for, no, for like, lockdown you know i wasn't drinking alcohol then i'm like what exactly i was like heavily pregnant so going out and about like was not you know like mm -hmm. I, I really like being indoors more than going out so i, I was fine like, lord jesus the lord was communicating with me so i don't know i'm in a prime position so what we would do now instead of uh going to restaurants a lot is that we order in and uh, we found that our culinary experience inside can be enjoyed <laughs> <laughs> from the comfort of a exactly. phone app we cooked like as with everyone else i don't know about you guys but your cooking every single day mm. was a lot you know mm. it's we nice try to take turns so that <gasps> we can have different menus mm, like, it, it, but we, we start getting used to our own food you know yo i repeal a shame like now i've never really a strong qualified chef i don't mm. know about you but now i feel like i'm a qualified chef and the nice thing about that as well is that like we can have a romantic time indoors mm. so we'll move the couches you know just kind of sit you know like that picnic set up vibe like i'm going to we'll bring it into the dining room and you know after sima goes to sleep um we'll just get her, like a nice movie or netflix like we love netflix so we'll find something really nice to watch on netflix if you're not busy with schoolwork you know so it's important to for us to still keep uh, the romance alive even with the restrictions even though we have to be at home probably like 90 percent of the time we have to be creative in the things that we enjoy doing before lockdown and just kind of adapt to how things are being done now i know the one thing that we really did uh enjoy before lockdown and one of the big reasons why we moved to cape town <laughs> is the beach <laughs> so we've kind of sort of found an innovative way to enjoy the beach as well yeah so the beach was obviously great for literally just you can just go and spend the entire day just mm -hmm. basking 
we have a video about uh, <laughs> beach days check yeah. the link in the bio you would literally you'd be there just basking in the sun taking amazing photos and even though like we can still go to the beach like we're still trying to be safe you know here's what we've been doing like we we don't go to the beach to just chill there so when we've had like a long day and we just need to wind down um we'll drive to like a different beach so this is also part of uh, discovering new beaches as well we'll go there and we'll literally just take a walk we'll take a walk we'll talk about anything that's just been um weighing heavy on us whether it's schoolwork whether it's you know any, any you know you know what we've decided or what's happening is that you know when people say oh, tell me something about yourself and you say i like to take a long walk on the beach <laughs> Yeah, that's that's definitely us. We like to take long Wait, those walks guys on now. the beach. <laughs> but that's the thing; like, it's it's so refreshing um, to literally just go and not have to worry about ah, yo, I must find the perfect bikini. Then I should, I should. Oh, you worry there. about that? Yeah, all my speedos fit. <laughs> You know, like, my thing is, you'll go to the beach and then you'll take photos. Now all these photos are on Instagram, now you've posted them everywhere. Now you need a new bikini. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. That means wow. now you must go to the shop. stresses that women go through. Me, I use the same Speedo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. They don't even make Speedos in Shanghai size. I'm it's joking. It's true. Wow, wow, wow. It's a lot. It's a lot. You don't have to rule out your favorite spaces you just have to find innovative ways of you know enjoying them and still keeping safe i mean remember that one time we went to uh the harbor to uh get awesome fish but what we did is that we bought ice cream we bought the fish went back into the car yeah. we literally sat in the car and watch the sunset from the car yep. while having ice, ice cream. cream yep you know what i love i love the drive mm. like there's just something about that area like declare everywhere like for me that has become one of my favorite things to do you enjoyed the drive to chapman's peak as well although you're afraid of heights which was funny because you're driving up chapman's peak that time you're afraid of heights as chapman's <laughs> peak is not my friend can i just say i <laughs> my heart pounds bro i feel like the car is just gonna fall on the other side mm -hmm. you know but yeah chapman's peak again you can drive all the way up and go in but now we've just turned it into just enjoying the drive pausing because there's like a couple of stop points mm -hmm. pausing take it all in take a couple of pictures you know just kind of expose sima to the outdoors but i want to to ask and i captured in the house Yo, all day and you know what i really do think that sima does enjoy being outside yeah, and does. and i feel like um for me if i was his age i'd want my imagination to be stimulated by as much as possible and i yeah. feel like the ocean is just the most perfect thing to stimulate someone's imagination so True. big up on coming up with that well you know um <laughs> relationship so well <laughs> I want to mention another thing that we we've decided to do um I'm I'm big on church recently um so <laughs> what we've decided to do was kind of sort of um have a church service in the house yeah. with just us we literally every sunday open the hymn book we open some scripture and we read and and we pray and i yeah. feel like that's also been quite helpful in terms of you know feeding the spiritual self because you can't physically go to church and sometimes i don't really like to just youtube i want to attend yeah. and attend church so that's been something that um we've kind of sort of tailored to lockdown um something else that we've tailored to lockdown is we do a lot of walks around Yo, the neighborhood. We, I, guys, like so much has changed. Me. I never thought that I'd be that girl <laughs> who just loves going to the, to like the park or just taking a walk. But I like. I mean, you're still not really that girl. I go on most of the walks with Friends. Sima, but we really enjoy your company when you do come. I, I, I mean, I like spending time with the boys with the boys in. so yeah that's just a couple of things that have changed for us because of the lockdown but that doesn't mean that we're gonna totally give up um doing things that we do enjoy doing going outside you know just just do it safely just, man yeah just do it safe be safe guys we love you so much and don't forget to subscribe and to like our video bye <laughs>